All right, pull this 235 straight six out of a 57 Chevy truck. Uh, it's got a pretty big gaping hole in the pan. And I can't see a connecting rod for one of the cylinders. So, uh, I open her up, just some late night fun. And um, let's see what's wrong with her. I'm gonna be using the distributor because it's a good one. Another engine over there. You can see it just behind the towel rack, whatever. So let's let's get to it. Like a heaton, I'm using metric. Well it's the old standard engine. Because metric is the standard in anywhere that's not America. Oh well. Moving on. Well, fanny mold is off. Yeah. Yeah, it's been sitting some some time. But I, I, I know it's fucked, so um, let's keep going and see how bad. Who the fuck uses screws like that anymore? Silly. This feels strange. Should be hex bolts. Voila! Welds uncovered. <laughs> Quite a different angle on those. Cool. It's cool. Next up, get that head off. Witness the mayhem or not. Who knows? Careful! Careful! Still a little bit. It's down in there. And shims. All right. Uh, not really looking after the push rods, cause not gonna be rebuilding this engine anyway. It's it's something bad is happened to it. Something real bad. We're gonna find out, but. I'd get new ones anyway. Who cares? If you're doing this the wrong way, at least doing it sort of in a pattern. So I don't know. Head. Who knows? Oh, that old bastard. Farewell, I hardly knew you. Okay. A little bit of force, fix that. I don't know if you can do this one handed, but let's give it a college try. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you get the idea. Back to the electrical. Because it's faster. Seems my tapping device is tapped out. I don't know. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Nope. 
so good so far. So far, so good. Ooh, look at that. It moves. Now, this is going to be a bit of a bear. Yeah. Huh. So, I don't think that's right. <laughs> uh, that one and that one are supposed to be at the same height. They are not. One and six look okay, but three and four is fine. Huh. Let's see if we can find some mayhem. He erected. And, uh, well, you can tell already from here that something's not right inside of there. That's a, that's a crank journal. Also, the pan is still on, and you can see a crank journal. Uh, <sighs> well, let's find out what's wrong. Cause something is. All right. Well, as you can see, she's <laughs> wallered out pretty bad. The pan kind of covers the bolts. Uh, I just discovered I can't do this one-handed. So uh, I'm gonna have to cut you off right there. Be right back with uh, the unpanning. Something. This is probably also still full of oil. We'll find out. Okay, so I loosened the pan. Whole lot of 11 mils and four thirteens. So half inch and something else, who cares. Uh, I've loosened it. I have, haven't taken a look yet, so you'll be <laughs> seeing this in live action. Uh, there is some damage here. That's, uh, that's a piston. Oh, well, it was. That's a bearing. And that is there is one buggered crank. <laughs> hey, look, it's the piston. So in the crank was probably mostly mostly uh, the rod. Do you think it'll move? I want to see if it moves. Shit, Don't get my phone all dirty. Let's see. Weapon of choice. I don't think so. Didn't want you to move anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very stable as it is. And where did I put my pry bar? I had one, a smaller one. It was around here somewhere. There it is. Under the pan. It's a no-go, folks. It's seized up pretty good. Well, probably rust in the cylinders and shit like that. Or well, is that piston also damaged? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's well and good. That's stuck pretty good in there. 
Well, I knew the engine was borked, but uh, didn't know why. And now I do. Maybe the block is savable. That probably isn't. That is beat to shit and rusted. Well, I got the number two piston out. Sort of. You think I can reuse this? I don't want to go buying any new ports. And you can see the boards are pretty fucked. Not good. Also not good. Well, I think that's all she wrote for today. It's getting late and I still have a day job. And probably will. With my skill of car repair. Something is left, you see. <laughs> Something has exited there. I wonder if the cam is whole. Because it looks good. Probably not. Would you look at that? Ain't wonderful what some brute force will do. <laughs> the crank has had it, so I kind of beat it. Beat it like Michael Jackson. Holy shit, that's close to the camshaft. Damn. <laughs> Pretty cool little engine, all in all. Cylinder heads are wild. Look at the debt. You have a valve up there. <laughs> cool. And this is uh, known as a full oiler, so it has an oil pump. The older ones had splash oiling like a lawnmower or whatever. Basically just a little lip. And the downside of the, the connecting rod, just splashing oil into the bearing. The bearings weren't fitted, they were molded into the connecting rods. Babbitt bearings or whatever. Oh yeah, all in all that's a good little night in the garage. A bye-bye. <laughs>